affected and then if no one has a vaccine and then if you add the vaccines in what effect it will have yeah. so you're going to choose one person <laughs> to get infected so to represent that we're going to turn them over and they're going to be red which means they're unhealthy and infected you can use anyone you want in our population Oh, yeah. that's not exactly. So this okay. one is infected. Yeah, so this person has got it's infected. COVID. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can okay. say they've got COVID or any kind of um, disease. So if one person gets it and everyone else doesn't have protection on it, what do you think might happen? Spreads. Yeah, exactly. Right. So do you want to start turning over some people around that person there? So yeah, it's going to start spreading. Do you know, like... Maybe this one also yeah. spreading. So why did you choose those ones? Because they're the closest. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So if you're one person has COVID, then, or any kind of disease, there's different kinds of ways you can transfer them. So do you know any ways that you might be able to transfer diseases? Um, touch? Yeah, exactly. So touch, that's why it's important to wash your hands. Oh, sure. And uh, all the ways. Yeah, so to kill the bacteria, because touch is quite well not even just by touching but it's like sneezing and stuff like that mm -hmm. then if you don't know where it goes so sometimes people like sneeze like that or on your elbow then it's important to like keep hygienic and get so you can turn over a couple more because we still still yeah, infected it's not going to stop this one as well. yeah maybe she as well yeah. or maybe the next one as yeah well. exactly so it's keeping the spread because this person will then affect this person and this person this person and suddenly yeah. and now this everyone's... person is giving this person exactly and this person okay so my side is completely COVID. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's what happens when there's no immunity or no kind of protection. So now this is where babies <laughs> come into play. So what do you know so far about vaccines? Um, they help. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know how? No. No. Okay. Um, that's fine. Not many people know. So. Most people think vaccines are like a little injection. They inject some stuff into you and suddenly you feel better. Have you got any idea of what stuff they might put into you? No. No. Okay. So there's loads of different types, but the main type is that you have these things. So let's say this is the virus, for example. From the virus, they have little spikes. You might have seen it in pictures. What do you mean? More like coronavirus. Yeah, like coronavirus, they might have like little spikes. Yeah, do we have coronavirus? Mm, we don't have a picture of a virus here. Oh. Well, this this one like looks like, like yeah, but it's coronavirus. It's like a spiky ball one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've seen a picture like, so say this is the normal cell. Yeah. And then it would have like all the different spikes and like spikes. little things like that. You might have seen something like that in cartoons and stuff. So say this is COVID, I'm going to put a CV for coronavirus. Okay. So each of these things, these spikes, are called antigens. Antigens. Yeah. Have you heard of the word antigen yeah. before? Yeah. So this is what your body recognises as like a big red flag saying, okay, this has entered my body. This does not seem right. So they have, we have loads of different cells, mm -hmm. uh, heavy cloud of white blood cells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they help protect your body. So we'll have like, say this is your nice white blood cell. He has lots of detectors like this. So when he's going to go along and then it's going to recognize this. So can you see that's kind of a circle shape and it's going to fit into the detector of the white antibody. Um, so then that's how it detects that, okay, this is coronavirus. So what the vaccine does is this pumps loads of these antigens into your body. Now, these by itself don't hurt you. It's when it's the whole vaccine together. These by itself are just little flags. So when these go into your body, so they're going to go into your blood, it will let the white blood cells recognize them and then they'll remember how to fight them without you getting sick, which is really important. So when, if suddenly you do get the actual coronavirus, you already remember how to fight it because the vaccine gave you those antigen bodies, yeah? Antigens, sorry. So that's how vaccines kind of work. They help sort of stimulate your immune system by making you remember how to do it. Does that kind of make sense or yeah yeah okay so again like i said there's loads of different kinds some of them will put in just the antigens some of them might put in a dead virus 
straight into you. So it seems like a little bit scary, but it's not alive or anything, so it won't do anything to harm you. You might get a little bit of a sniffly nose Sniffing. or something, this but it's not as serious. This is people get vaccine, they get like yeah, one or bit, two yeah. days sick. And but it's like, compared to if you just have coronavirus mm. by itself, then you'll get really sick. Yeah. But the people who said that they had the vaccine and then got coronavirus, yeah. they were very okay. They were okay to walk and go and everywhere. Yeah. So that's why it's important to get the vaccine and they were really pushing it for uh, so many times. That's good, yeah. that's good. I really like all this interactive activity. I like that one yeah. most. On to start taking the vaccine to stop the spread. Have you heard of that? The, the virus, the injection for the vaccination. So you just put it on top. So who are you going to say are most at risk and who really needs the vaccine? Old people. So let's just imagine all the people near him are old for some, or they're in a care home or something. So who would you give the vaccines to first? Um, that you can place them on what counters you think might be at most at risk. Wait, are, they, are these colour coded? No, no, they're just all the same. I don't know why they did different colours. Red and... So yeah, it's all the same. Yeah, old, old people. people. Well, just leave it like that. Maybe yeah, yeah. old people, yeah. Yeah, so the old people, or you say people if you are in like that household, or say if it's in a school, someone in that class has it, they might tell you people to go and get the vaccine, or even just if it's in the same city or country. That's why. So we have more people vaccinated getting the vaccine. Vaccine. But my manager, she had a COVID vaccine, but yeah. still. You Last still, week she had uh, COVID. You can still get the virus, but it's your symptoms. You won't feel ill. Yeah. So you still can still get the virus, but your body can fight it quicker. That's yeah. why. Yeah. So you can still get it, but it's like you won't feel too ill, like sick or in bed or anything like that. Yeah. So now uh, these people have had the vaccine. Not all people will have the vaccine because some people might be allergic or some people just might not want it for whatever reason. Yeah. So now try and see what happens to the spread if these people, these people have the vaccine. So if you want to start the spread, so where do you think the vaccine, uh, the virus will go now? So who can it infect? Um, yeah? This person. Mm -hmm. And then that person who so, is going to go and infect who? This person. So can it infect them if they've already had the vaccine? Because no, remember, so, okay. it's already started working on this them already. Person. Yeah, that person. Mm -hmm. And then you can see that it's going to go spread that way a bit, that way a bit. So okay. everyone on this, this side, person, yeah, this they need the vaccine. vaccine. So once they find, like, you know, when they were saying, like, the case number was rising and all of those stuff, yeah. when they find one person, they'll start. But when it's, like, two, and then maybe the next day will be five, and then seven, and then it'll keep going up and up. Once it starts spreading a lot, it's really important for more people to get the vaccine, yes. right? So it causes, it creates a barrier. So say... Let's say this person in this corner gets the, vac uh, the virus. If these three people all get the vaccine, it's not going to go anywhere, is it? Yeah. So that's why it's important to, like, sort of, if once they've found it in one area, to get as many people in that area as they can to get the vaccine. Because it just not only protects these people, but also protects all of these people as well, right? So that's what's called herd immunity. Have you heard of that before? Immunity. Yeah. yeah. So that's like, if your part of the community does it, then it prevents the spread from going further and further along. Yeah. Okay, so, um, let me see. Is there any other things that we can mention? And this is, I think, back one. Yes. Good. Oh, this. Vaccination cards. You're dealing with the vulnerable people. It's like, not only protecting myself, but I don't want to bring in any like nasty bacteria to people who are already sick in the hospital. Right now. Uh, two more. Okay. So, oh, so no. this is, this means okay. So these are all people are vaccinated, yeah. Sienna? Okay. So these people with the vaccine are vaccinated, mm -hmm. and now you can choose one person. Who hasn't been vaccinated, they're gonna get infected. So you can choose one person. I'm, I'm yeah. doing middle because I want him. Him. Okay. So now he's been infected. Now mm -hmm. you're gonna play out what happens when the virus spreads. So what's gonna happen now? And you can keep going until it's spread as far as it can go. Can I do these? So the, this only one. the people who haven't been vaccinated, because they say the people who have been vaccinated, they're protected because they've already got the antibodies in their system. Yeah, so you can keep going, see how the spread will carry on. To see how far it goes when it's only 50% of the population is vaccinated. 
Yeah. Is that enough or do we keep, keep on keep, keep going until there's no barrier to so keep going. That's really clever then. Yes, yeah? Any more? Okay, so here we can see the spread. So we have one person in the middle who didn't get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. And even though lots of people around him got the vaccine, it's still spread quite for a lot, hasn't it? Even though we said 50% of people got the vaccine. So it's really important that even though lots of people are getting the vaccine, it needs a lot more people to get it as well to stop the spread. Because even though it's in the middle, it's gone all the way to the edge people as well. Yes. So they might think, oh no, it's far away from me. I'm not going to get COVID. It can spread. Right. Even though lots of people in the middle have got vaccinated. So that's why education is important. Because even though it might be far away from you, it can spread. You don't know how many people are washing their hands, how many people are taking the train, going to different places. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so, yeah. And the vector. Okay. So now, let's see when it's at 75%. What difference do you think it will make? 75% of people, people are vaccinated. Yeah. So this is about 50. So if you think 75, what do you think will happen? Um, less people get COVID or yeah. the virus. And why? Um, more people are vaccinated and less likely to get it. Exactly, yeah. And not only that, it's when one person is vaccinated, they will go home, they will tell their mum, their dad, their family, they will tell their friends at school, they will tell their teacher, the teacher will tell their family, and then it spreads. Have friends, it's so like a wide of power. Yeah, exactly, and, uh, exactly. Or they will go to the mosque and then they'll tell yeah. there and then the imam will tell everybody and stuff yes. like that so it's like it's not even if one person gets it they may tell another person before they get covid and turn it back to being healthy yeah. so that's another reason yeah. as well it's not just okay we're going to go and inject everyone it's also about the education behind it because yeah. a lot of people are getting the vaccine but they don't actually know why i think that's what's scaring people it's like oh i'm putting this stuff in my body i have no idea what it is which is completely so fine how many do you put on there so now <laughs> so we're gonna do the so 25 was half so let's do 25 37 so 37, 37 vaccines is going to be around 75 right? percent oh, okay because if you have 50 squares, yeah. and then I just did half of 25. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, it's fine. Do we have to flip more though? Yeah, yeah. I'll flip them. You count out 37 okay. vaccines, and we'll make everyone healthy again. We'll go everyone. to a different city. <laughs> so it's everyone healthy, yeah? Yeah, everyone healthy, yeah. Healthy, yeah. So, we do like community nine, protect. 10, 12, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to uh, how to protect community. Yeah. And 19, 20, really encouraging 20, people talking about vaccine, how important the vaccine Yeah, because if you don't talk, then people 20, won't yeah, know, people and know. then they'll get scared, and then they'll listen to you on like WhatsApp and stuff like that. This is that like be perfectly. That is perfectly. Okay. Thirty-seven wow. perfectly. <laughs> okay. So now, again, same as before, you can choose thirty-seven random people to get vaccinated in any order, in any order, anywhere you like, randomly, because you can't determine who's going to get vaccinated. I still think these are color coded. I don't know if they are. I'll do the middle this time. What are we doing? So good. So it's like. 70%. Yeah, so now we done 20, we did 50% of the people. Now we're going to see if 75% is vaccinated, what will happen. So we said maybe if more people vaccinated, then it will be more stop than Spread getting the virus. So it looks like a lot of people got the vaccine. So you, you would think, that, okay, then it's fine. I don't need to get it. They have it. But actually... This is why I see... Um, I feel like I've got a catching virus, but it didn't actually, when I test my COVID test, yeah. it's negative. Yeah. So it seems like two vaccine and booster, they are very effective. Yeah, definitely. And not only that, it's because you have the vaccine, a lot of people also have the vaccine, vaccine. as well, so that's why stopping is like a barrier. Yeah. I it's personally protecting. think he's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot more than not before. More people now, <laughs> yeah. They're like all right next to each other. Exactly, yeah. And I'm not picking the middle because I want drama. 
Okay, so now we're going to initiate. Someone's going to get infected. So who's not vaccinated is going to get infected. Okay, great. This one as well. Now, how is that going to spread? It can't spread, can it? Everyone around them? Yeah. No. So now this person, not vaccinated, who's he going to spread to? And this one. Yeah, that's quite far. That's quite far. So this one's going to get infected from the outside, so that's fine. If, if this one get infected, and who so will he spread it to? This one. This one. And who will he spread it to? That one. And then that one. And then that one. But then that one. And then that one. That one will spread to that one. That one. Practically. Yeah. So only this person is really safe because no one can get in from him. So out of the whole population, only one person was saved despite so many vaccines. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That even though 75%, literally nearly everyone has the vaccine, but still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people still got the, uh, still got the virus. Yeah. So that's why, again, important. Even though you might think, it's okay, I'm safe, but you don't know, someone over here might get it. So still, this person still needs to get the vaccine. And still it's good need to get the vaccine, yeah. Because um, they might think, okay, my friend's got it all here, so now I want to get oh, it, yeah. like that. Some people might not be able to get the vaccine, and that's fine, because either their health or things like that. So some think, people have got health yeah. issues, yes. So even now, like some people, some doctors, some nurses, some medical students, in their health, they might not be able to get it. Like my grandma, she can't get the vaccine because she's had lots of medication, so that will react with it, so that would be good. So, um... Looks here, look at here. That. So these are some, do you know, like pros and cons, what yeah. that means, yeah? So um, let's talk about some. So there's two pros here. I think there's a lot, a, lot, a lot of cons. So why? Wait, that's oh, wait. Okay. So you want to sort them out into two different cows. I think I already kind of did it, but you go for it. Okay, so let's spread them out and see what they say, yeah? Okay, so we got some cons here. We'll start. Cons, some may cause side effects. So, do you know what side effects yeah. are, yeah? So, um, with some of the vaccines, we have had some side effects. So some people, like you said, you might get a bit of a sniffle nose, maybe headache, muscle ache when you get the injection. But do you think that's a really big con compared to if you actually got the virus, what that might do to your body? It's kind of like you have to weigh up the what's more like worse, yeah. isn't it? Because say you do get COVID, you won't only get your muscle pain, your headache, you won't be able to breathe as well. So it's like you have to weigh up the differences. And this one is a bit different. So risk of an allergic reaction. Now this one's important because some people might be really allergic to stuff in the vaccine. That's why we have so many different types. Like you know you've heard of like the Pfizer and then AstraZeneca and all those big like different companies will make different ones. Because that way they can see, okay, if you're allergic to one thing, then maybe you might be able to have the other ones. And that's why it's important to have not just one person making one vaccine because not everyone will react the same way to it. Yeah. That's why whenever you get the vaccine, you won't know what you get until you go there because they want to see how it's reacting. And I think from the last two years, everyone got all the different vaccines. They're going to make some data to see, okay, which one worked the best and which one they're going to do going forward. And then the last con is people don't know what they're made from. Yeah. 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 So I think that's, again, it's not a big con, but it's what scares people the most, not knowing, right? And so what can we do maybe to help people sort of think more about vaccines and like why you need them? What do you think we could do to help out? Um, it's a big question, so don't worry if you can't think of it immediately. That's what we're trying to do as yeah, well. How did you make this vaccine? Exactly, this yeah, question. because it's like people on TV or the big scientists, they'll say all the big words and no one knows what it means and they'll have yeah. their graphs and whatever. But because it's, like, it's medical time. Yeah, exactly. It's word. like only the doctors will really understand what's happening. So I think that's why it's important for even like little things like this or even like going into schools and things like that that might actually help the children because like my sister she's in year two 
Like they've told them all like they need to get the vaccine, whatever. But even she's like, oh no, I don't want an injection, which is fine because all the single kids are scared of injections, right? But if we actually go and play the games like this and actually think, okay, 